outside, it was like I'm called over to the side of a sprinter van. And he was like, hey, when you get finished doing that, come take this walk with me right quick. And I was like, you talking to me? I had to make sure he was talking to me because, I mean, I see you everywhere. You see me everywhere. And I'm like, I want to be sure he was talking to me because it was a couple of people out there. So he was like, yeah, I'm talking to you. So when I walked over there, like, the only thing I saw after that was this. Like, I'm looking this way, and then I see this, and then you feel multiple fists, and I guess feet. So when the video comes on, it's me making sure, like, oh, you know, nah, I'm not going to go home looking like, you know, I just fought a football team. So, you know, I'm I'm this. And when I get up, when I get up off of the, when I get up off of the ground, now it's like, now I see who it is. So and when I look up the first person I see, I go at him. Then obviously the police won't let me get to him. So then whoever else there is, I'm trying to get to them. But it's kind of like, yeah, they not going to let me get to anybody at this point. You can hear, you can hear a woman on there like, Okay, nah, nah, you got to give him his now. Like, yeah, y'all, y'all jump this man. Y'all gonna cut on the camera at the end. But I mean, you know, hey man, I don't even live my life like that. You know what I'm saying? I got too much positive shit going on. I like I obviously didn't expect no shit like that, really. I thought it was gonna be words to change. And to be honest, I thought it was the conversation that needed to be had, I guess, for the last decade. I'm not even gonna say was needed to be had, but it would have been something that I would have appreciated the conversation. Uh, but yeah, I was led in to believe that I was going over here to have a conversation. And then when I get over there, yeah, it was a sneak attack. People just grow apart. Like it was no beef. It wasn't no beef. We just stopped, I think around 2012, I think we just stopped. I just told my DJ, man, like, hey, this. You know, this shit ain't right. Let's just pack up and leave. So we packed up and left. And I never said anything to him ever since. And this is like 10 years ago. It wasn't never no beef. It wasn't no beef. It was no misunderstanding on nothing. It was just two people grew apart. We separated. It wasn't an argument. It wasn't nothing going on. It was just, you know, I noticed some shit. The energy was off. And I, I told my DJ and I told... And I told my homie, like, hey, man, look, let's just pack up and let's just go back to Houston. If we go back to Houston right now, we can catch V-Live before it's closed. And we can go throw this money we made on tour. So it was no, it was no bad blood. There's a lot of people upset about this. And strangely, I don't know, I must be, I must be getting old or I must be getting wise or something. Because strangely, I'm not upset. Like, I'm not upset at all, but like, I think people in the streets are taking this shit harder than I'm taking it. And just, uh, I'm like, my hands are tied right now. So in terms of resolution, whatever me and those people got to do to get some resolve, maybe that'll get some resolve on day end. But it's people that love me out here. Like it's people that love them out here. And to know what happened to me and catch the tail in and the people that were there that, that caught it from the beginning is like, nah, man, that's a, that's a black eye in the streets for real.